Welcome to another edition of Desarian Plays EverQuest 2 TLE Time Lock Expansion. Well, I'm here uh, right where we left off yesterday, whenever that was, uh, <laughs> the last time that I played this. And um, I decided I was about to leave, and I was like, wait, I'll check her and uh, see if she offers me the same quest, because I was kind of thinking, well, maybe I'll go through it one more time. And whenever I did, she, is it she or a he? Let's see. Yeah, it's a she. Uh, she offered uh, the other the other dungeon that I wanted to do, the one I wanted to do in the first place. So I decided, why not uh, just do both instances on uh, film? So um, we're going to accept the Dire Hollow quest. So she wants me to find the Dire Hollow, which I imagine it is in the same place. Let's just check. Dire Hollow. Uh, yeah, it is. Oops, I guess I didn't really do it. Oh no, it's in the the other zone. Okay, so we'll uh, I'll go down there and start back whenever I get inside or whenever I get to it. And we can see it's just like the other side. Uh, it's shaped almost exactly the same. They just placed it over here. Um, is this it? That was it. Okay, and just like the other instance, this one is randomly generated um, as far as the mobs that, that you'll be encountering. So, let's see what we got. We got spiders. And so, no, let's see. Ah, so this would be the ghost theme, I think. We're going to be spiting spiders, and bats, and ghosts. And hopefully, unlike the last time, we will uh, find many more named. I did not like that I found so few named in the last one and didn't get any good loot. So hopefully have better luck this time. Mods are a little lower level. This was the lower level dungeon I was trying to get. Uh, and of course I'm getting close to 39, so it should be easy to blow through this. Yep, and we can see there is a ghost right there. Oh, here. So like the other one, there is also. Um, walls that we break in this one and such, so that was the, one of the mechanics that they kind of brought out in this expansion. Although I don't, this doesn't look familiar, so I don't think I've ever actually been in this, this instance. for ghosts or skeletons or this kind of thing. These are definitely good places to try to get those accomplished. Although most of us have gotten through them. So I think the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to kind of go around the outside edge here like this until I'm done. So let me uh, clear out this area and I'll I'll get to this uh, this first little alcove there and start back up. Hmm, looks like there's this Drabix guide in there. I don't know what that's about. So I'm gonna have to see what's going on with that. So these are 33 linked together. Not terrible. So 
So let me clear out through that area and I'll see what's up with that Davix guy. Oh, and there was one more piece of ghost item that I needed. So I finished my Lord and Legend ghost. Let's see what this gets us. Uh, I guess this is cool mace. We can hang on our wall. Sweet. Where are these? I already have that. Oh, these are all skeleton items. So cleared out the area, but nothing. Can't click on you, can't right click, can't do anything. And there was no names in this little alcove. Oh, we are uh, moving on. Moving on, moving on. Shows that there's one out there in the middle. Although I don't know if that's actually true or not. So just keep on grinding. Alright, so I'm going to work my way a little bit. You can see this little entrance right here. There might be something in here. So we're going to go up to this wall. See if anything attacks us. Nothing attacked. Falls down. Looks like there's a bat group in here. And they don't want to uh, attack me. <laughs> don't know what was up with that. But no named again. Back to looking. I've got uh, <laughs> I've got a quest in the Enchanted Lands where I have to get bats, and uh, it's updating here, so that's kind of faulty. But well, I guess I'll complete that quest in Nectalus Forest. good. We will be moving up to this wall next. Alright, so now we're going to break down another wall. Nothing attacking us again. Nothing in here except one of those faces. Again, I don't even know what's good with those things. You might want to leave a note, let people know, because have more right. that way if someone's watching this video, then you can help them out and let them know what the bases are actually for. I'm sure there's a quest associated with it, I just haven't had time to look at it. And I got a withering viscera. There's a wall over here I didn't break, and it's, uh, it's closer than I thought. This this map makes the zone look much bigger than it actually is. This is pretty pretty tiny. So break this. There's a shriller in there. Is that it? last area and see what we can find in there. So let's see, we're finally into this last little area. Ooh, look at there, we've actually got one. To Volt the Spark Caster. And let's see what it says about him. Nothing special. Her. So let me clean out the area here a little bit. Actually I'll go ahead and just do this on camera. Otherwise, it's going to be a very short episode, <laughs> which is okay. I'm kind of uh, liking the shorter episodes here. I know uh, a lot of you don't stick around till the very end of a lot of these uh, due to 
time, so I'm trying to keep them a little bit shorter, although sometimes I just ramble a lot and don't. Do have my master rage here now that I've completed the the ghost quest on that, the ghost lore and legend. Okay, so cleared out the little mobs here. I'm a little bit worried about this. That last, over here on the side, there was a group of four, and they got me down pretty close to the end of it. And this is going to be a four with the named link to it. Um, so I need to figure out how to go about this. I wonder if I should switch over to my defensive stance. Probably should. Let's do that. Just to be on the safe side. Let's do that. Switch to Unpunching Will. So this will reduce my DPS, but it should increase my uh, mitigation and all of that pretty dramatically. See, so reduces physical damage, decreases slashing, increases aggression, defense parry, increases mitigation versus elemental, which these guys are probably casting by 720, increases effectiveness, worn armor versus physical damage by 15%. 15%. So uh, it'll definitely give me some needed protection. Um, what else can I do? This decreases attack of the caster, increases mitigation. Critical on target. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use that or not, but I'll definitely be popping as many of my, as these, uh, all my spells as I can. Okay. Let's see if I can survive this. Chaos up. Always kind of a debate in my head, or even on the forums and stuff, whether you should take the named first or get rid of the trash mobs first. Generally, of the opinion, you should get rid of the trash mobs first. But when you're soloing, it's maybe a little different. Okay, he's dead. Does it? Ah, good. I was worried it would put me outside of the dungeon where I wouldn't be able to get back in because there'd be a timeout. Oh, there's a wall right there. I didn't even know it was there. There's just shrillers in there. Might kill those at the end. This is a pretty small instance. We also have these two walls here and here to get through. So, let me get rid of my 
res sickness. All right, so let's finish these guys off. Yeah, in, in this case, I probably should have taken out the trash mobs first. Live and learn. Robbers, iron tip spear is what I get out of that. <sighs> so I can definitely say that the loot in these instances is not worth it. Alright, let me heal up before I go into each one of these rooms. Alright, check it out. Got a spider. Two spiders. Three spiders. I'm pretty sure there was nothing behind me. It seemed like there was something behind me. Damn, left me on my butt for quite a while there. Again. Jerk. Stance. Well, it's definitely time to go back to town and look into my armor and weapons and stuff. I was hoping to wait till 40 to do that. And this it seems on the TLE server here, we uh, there's another base that um, without the travel, easy travel. What the hell was that? Did getting close to these do that? What the hell zapped me? That's weird. Anyway, I was saying, here on the TLE servers, since we don't have the travel options that we did, I don't go back to town near as much. Um, you know, because I can't go directly from town to the zones that I'm going to. I usually have to go through the common lands and then, you know, run through Neck Forest. So it's kind of a pain. I'd be glad whenever those quests are in. Did it again! What? What is hitting me? <laughs> oh my god. That's ridiculous. What is it? Hey! Cut it out! Uh, people have forgotten Magi in here. And I got whatever is hitting me is hitting me harder and harder and more often. That's great. I knew what that was.
don't. And nothing again here. Cut it out. <laughs> it has to be those, those little totems or whatever they were. Alright, so just just to be a completionist here, I'm gonna go ahead and kill these bats. And then run through the zone, make sure there's nothing else here. Okay, so I've uh, cleared out the zone. Um, not bad, as you can see, I've got uh, pretty good experience through all of this. I would say if you're definitely going to do these zones, uh, don't go in here expecting loot. I have not gotten anything uh, in both zones, so I don't think it's worth that. Uh, it's worth a little exploration, you know, it's it's cool doing these zones. Um, and uh, you, you know, experience is alright, so if you're just going to be grinding on mobs, might as well pick this up too if you want. Um, Anyway, so that's going to be it. If you made it this far, please, please give me a like. I appreciate it. Uh, been getting several subscribers lately, and I really appreciate every single one of you guys. It means a lot to me. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, I've got plenty of videos coming out. I'm trying to get a video up every single day. Uh, yeah, you guys are great. So till next time, bye.